guys we are back to our smoke jumpers text yesterday we worked on annotating our vocabulary words and pick them out in our story today we are going to focus on the main idea or the main topic of our text so as we read we ask ourselves why is the author writing this for us to read and from reading Smoke Jumpers before, I know that the author is writing this text to inform us. It's telling us about Smoke Jumpers. So we're going to be looking for key details that support that main topic of Smoke Jumpers. So I will be underlining things that I feel are important that I should know. And remember when we annotate, we use a pen, a pencil, something that we can use to underline. Um, some of you took your pens home with you from school. If not, just use a pencil that you might have on hand um, and we'll get started. Smoke jumpers. Have you ever heard of a smoke jumper? A smoke jumper is someone who is trained to fight fires in rough terrain like mountains or other places that are difficult to get to. I'm going to think about this paragraph before we move on. I like how it told us right then and there what a smoke jumper is. It's someone who is trained to fight fires. So now I know that a smoke jumper is a firefighter. But it's different because they fight fires in rough terrain. And that was one of our vocabulary words. And I like how the author explains what rough terrain is right in our text. We can use context clues to figure out what rough terrain means. So here it says, like mountains or other places that are difficult to get to. So I'm also going to underline that because I think that's important for me to understand what rough terrain is. So we now know a smoke jumper is someone who is trained to fight fires in places that are hard to get to. Smoke jumping was introduced in the 1930s by the U.S. Forest Service. It was a way to get to forest fires quickly. So here, this is an important part of information about smoke jumpers, but I'm not going to underline it. I'm just going to keep reading. Now remember, when you're annotating, if it's important to you or it's something that you want to come back to to remember, go ahead and make sure you mark it. Annotating is different for everyone. It's just a way to make sure that we are understanding what we're reading and if there's things that we need to come back to, it's a quick and easy way to find them. I'm wondering as I'm reading, because remember, we're asking ourselves questions as we read, where does the name smoke jumper come from? Why are they called smoke jumpers? So I'm just gonna write myself a little note here. It says, smoke jumper name come from. This is my questioning that I'm having in my head. I'm wondering if I am going to find that out. So let's keep reading. Smoke jumpers are national heroes. Their jobs are hard and very dangerous. Smoke jumpers parachute from a plane. They land in a spot near the forest fire. Firefighting tools, food and water are also dropped by parachute. The men and women smoke jumpers get enough tools and supplies to last them for about two days. After that, they will get more. So I just learned why they're called smoke jumpers. They actually jump out of an airplane. So that's why they're named smoke jumper because they're jumping right from a plane into the smoke of a fire. That sounds like a very difficult, scary job. Smoke jumpers wear special gear to keep them safe. Padded fireproof suits and helmets with face masks protect jumpers from fire, rocks, and trees. Parachutes are another important piece of equipment. They can be steered by the smoke jumpers. Their bright colors can be spotted quickly. Now, I like this text feature that the author has given us. It's a picture and it's all labeled with all the different types of gear that they have. 
So they have a parachute harness. They wear wire mesh face mask and a helmet. They have a rope for, for tree landing. So in the videos that we watched, some of them would land in a tree and have to rope down from the tree. That would be a little scary, I think. I also wanted to underline here that I think how they wear special gear is another key detail about smoke jumpers. They have to wear special gear and they use parachutes as equipment. Those are all particular to this person who is a smoke jumper. Being a smoke jumper takes strength and training. Smoke jumpers learn how to jump from a plane, handle a parachute, and land safely. Once they are on the ground, they must be able to climb trees, use different saws, and work well in a team. Next time you hear about a forest fire, you can be sure that smoke jumpers are on the job. So I also think that we can underline some of the job requirements that they have. Um, they need strength and training to know how to jump out of an airplane. They need to learn how to handle a parachute and land safely. And they must also be able to climb trees, use different saws, and work well as a team. A lot of jobs require you to work well as a team. That's definitely a good skill that you want to have. This job though you have to climb some trees and use saw, so you might want to think twice about being a smoke jumper unless you're okay with jumping out of an airplane. I know that the author was informing us about the job of being a smoke jumper and we learned many different key details to support what a smoke jumper might work.